Well, what we're hearing so far is very good. It's very positive. I think we're coming off of good, strong numbers from October. Uh, the survey work we've done already indicates that we're going to have uh, almost record-breaking crowds this year. We're going to have really big numbers, 137 million people out there over the weekend. 74% uh, will be out shopping today. There's some great deals. So we're looking for a really strong holiday. 74% of the 139 million will shop right. today. Yeah, so this will be the biggest day of the weekend. So the stories I read online are, they quote you guys, 59% of Americans will shop on this holiday over weekend. The, over the next three days. How does that compare to last year? Uh, that's about right on target. A little, bit, little bit higher than last year. Um, but overall, we think sales are going to be up. Consumers are going to spend more. We know the... Uh, that uh, as a Buckeye, it's hard for me to say that team up north, their consumer sentiment index, University of Michigan came out on Friday <laughs> with good numbers, uh, very positive, and the, uh, the strong numbers from October that Commerce Department put out. So for the first time ever, uh, we've seen 25% of people say they plan to spend more this year than last year. So that's the highest in 10 years. People are going to spend more than they did a year. Have the retailers, and I want this question both to Dana mm -hmm. and Matt, have the retailers hired the people for these crowds that are coming? Yeah, that's one of the things that we've seen changing, Steve, is that as the, as the nature of shopping has changed and as people have uh, adopted new strategies and tactics to deal with the, the crowds that they're getting and the, the things that consumers want, for example, buy online, pick up in store, right. you've had to reconfigure, in some cases, parking lots, uh, the insides of stores. You've got to have different kinds of uh, associates and staff on, on, uh, on duty this weekend. And then that doesn't even begin to address all the things you see in the distribution centers and how much that's shifted. So, Dana, what are you yeah. hearing? I'm hearing the same thing. They've hired the people They've for the crowds They've hired the people. They've trained the people. And the other thing this year, what about Christmas on a Sunday? Um, right. And be a really big Saturday. Friday, right. Saturday will be really that's big. That's a good that's a it's good thing. It's cold. It's colder this year than it was last year. We can't blame the weather, but it's sure Matt, is nice let's get to be serious cold. for a minute, though. I want to ask you this question. There's a new president coming in, and there's a threat of tariffs. And a lot of your people source a lot of their stuff overseas. Right. How concerned are CEOs of retail conglomerates and retail stores right now that there could be tariffs on goods that are imported? So, listen, there are, there are a lot of big policy issues that need to get addressed when we come back in January and the president-elect is sworn in and the new Congress comes back. Uh, there's some really positive things that we can talk about. So, no one pays higher corporate taxes than retailers. We are very optimistic that we're going to get some kind of tax way, reform yeah. done. Um, but, you know, the, obviously the devil is always in the details. And so when you have a consumer economy that imports $2 trillion worth of goods and, and it's driven by consumer spending, if you're going to tax imports, that's going to create real challenges for consumers. Is that a yes to his question? They are worried? I mean... I think it's something that we would certainly be concerned about. If we're going to tax imports, I think... Dana, is this something that would cause it. you to change your valuations of these companies? I think companies going to be... It's, yes, companies that import from China, if they're going to have to charge more to the end consumer, consumers want lower prices all the time, and retailers have to figure out how to get more profit for those items. And that's one of the things that's different about this holiday season. Inventory levels are lean. We are coming out of a third quarter. It was a better margin quarter than it was a sales quarter. We should have a more profitable season. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.